All right, it's time for a declutter. We're gonna be decluttering all of these cheek products. I bet there's more than 50 cheek products in here that we're gonna be getting rid of. Stay tuned for that because we're gonna get into it right now. Yep, I got a ton of cheek products. I have been going through my stash because I did do that foundation declutter, but I wanna declutter everything. This is the time of year when I get a lot more makeup in to review for you guys. And so I just kind of am decluttering as I go. Things that I haven't reached for, for you know six months or more, things that I know that I can't review for you guys because they're not available anymore. And I just wanted to share with you what I'm getting rid of, what might not be working for me. I also did wanna say that I'm doing this in front of the camera. Last time I did it facing away from me and it's it's a little bit faster that way but i had a lot of people say that i felt they felt like i was really rushed which i probably was because i didn't want the video to get to be forever i'm not going to take a lot of time telling you the reasons i'm going to tell you the reasons but they're not going to be extensive here why i'm getting rid of these things so let's get into it right now all right there's three of the new cheek products from elf i don't like these i feel like they're not the quality that the eyeshadows are i feel like they're much more powdery and i do feel like the highlighters in these are just a little bit too chalky for me to put on my cheeks and show and not show texture and this one is the bronzer one and then i have those two i'm going to be getting rid of all of those by the way there is one foundation in here that i just cannot get to work that's new this is the new nars soft matte foundation it just doesn't work for me it on my skin it's a little bit heavy it's a little bit too full coverage it settles into my fine lines within a couple hours so that is gonna go from cover fx is some of their um, custom highlighter drops I do like these. This one is in Moonlight. I do like these, but this one is like two years old and I've never reached for it. So I'm going to pass that on to somebody that can use it. It's a fairly beaming highlight. I hope that you guys have seen this one before. Let me just show you how beaming that highlight is. It's super duper highlight. So if you like liquid and you like that kind of a highlight, you're going to like this. But for me, it's just a little bit too much unless I were to wear it across my eyes. And I have a lot of products that I wear across my eyes already. So that one is going. This is the um, Sweet Cheeks from NYX. This is their liquid blush that comes in the delivery system that looks like a tube of lip gloss or lipstick. This is a horrible mess. I found this to be super patchy, hard to blend, and it just was not one that I would ever use on my cheeks after using it two times. From Rimmel, I actually bought this Radiance Brick thinking that I would really like it because it does have a little bit of glow in it, but this is so orange. I mean, this is uber, uber orange. That's, oh, and I just, for my skin, it just doesn't work. So if you're somebody that likes warm colors, this might be really good for you. I think this was the medium one that they had in there. Yes, it's the medium one. And then I have a couple of, I know, don't let your heart stop. These are ColourPop <laughs> products. This one is Talk to the Palm. And then this one is a blush that is, that is Night Bloom. That is just a lilac blush. I probably would never wear lilac as a blush. I would wear it on my eyes, but I do have a lot of colors that are already like that in my eyeshadows. And then Talk to the Palm, again, was just too orange of a bronzer for me i just that orange stuff i just can't do because my skin is on the cool side and i do a little bit of warmth but nothing that drastic and i just can't do that another one that has that super orange quality is the city bronzer from maybelline this one is the lightest color that they had and again it's just way too orange even though it's super light it just pulls really orange on me nyx high glass this one is kind of a creamy formula and although i did like it I felt like it was a little bit hard to blend. Um, it does have that glass-like quality to it. So if you're somebody that's been looking for a cream highlighter that doesn't have a super high beam to it, you might like that one a lot. This one is the Master Holographic from Maybelline. And this one is just, it's patchy and it's just got tons of little reflex in it, glitter in it, and it's purple. I'm not gonna wear a purple highlight across my cheeks, not every day anyway. From Flower Beauty, their Heat Wave. I thought when I first saw this, that this was gonna be really cool tone because it looked like it, but then I got into it again. It's really, really orange and just doesn't work for me at all. From e.l.f., they have this new multi-dimension face and body shimmer. This is really chunky and it has a ton of glitter in it. So again, I am looking at something that I can't wear that just shows up way too much texture on my face. 
This one right here from Ofra is the Everglow. And although this is very beautiful, swirling that together gets way too of a gold color. And I don't do gold highlights. I just, you know, it's one of those that, yes, I can switch, you know, swish into here and just try to stay on this side. But it even gets a little bit too gold when I do that. So I'm going to pass it on to somebody that would like it because I never reach for it. From Ciate London, this is discontinued. This is their sol solstice color of a highlighter and this is pretty but i have a, a couple others that aren't discontinued that i really do like and even though that's pretty i just i don't reach for it because i don't show it on camera because you guys can't get it so i'm going to pass that on to somebody that will use it and then also from makeup revolution this is the glass mirror illuminator i love this however again this has been discontinued i love how this looks across the skin i do have several products that are higher end that aren't discontinued that i can show you guys whereas this if i show it to you i'm not going to be able to send you to a link so even though that does show across just a glass like finish and it's beautiful I can't use it because I don't use it very much on camera and that's what I do is test things for you guys another couple I did keep one of these these are the Cody airspun highlighters that came out I love these if you guys can find these these are fantastic they're beautiful beautiful highlighter that just casts a gorgeous glow across your skin without having any sort of glitter or anything like that and it's super high beam they're gorgeous this one is a pink one and this one is a gold one i kept the one that was more champagne i can't use these again on camera now because they're discontinued and you can't find them anywhere but if you guys happen to stumble across stumble across them in a store i would say that they are really beautiful and go ahead and pick them up but for me i can't use them that much this one is a blush that i did take out of the package but i immediately put it right back this is called blush mallow and it's a blush that is just really stiff and really hard you would think that you know it being that pink in the pan that it's going to be super pigmented if you take a lot of time and build it way way up yes it's going to be super pigmented but it was chalky it was hard to blend this is not one that i like and i usually like j cat so i passed on that one this is from for Focalore, and this is one of their glow products this one is golden crystal 01 this is pretty but again it's a little bit too powdery too much i like the packaging on this it's got a magnetic closure like the ofra products do so it just claps down and i really do like the the packaging it has a mirror in it it's fun but the product itself is just a little bit too patchy on me it's super high beam that what you guys were seeing there but i shouldn't say patchy i should say textured it just was so intense that it showed up so much texture that it just wasn't for me so i'm getting rid of that one this one is another one i'm getting rid of i got this in a boxy charm from too faced this is their fancy pink diamond um, highlighter a lot of people love this. I personally was not a huge fan of it I have a lot of highlighters in here I was getting rid of highlighters that didn't go with my skin tone anymore and i'm getting rid of highlighters that I just don't reach for and I know that you guys can't get now This one is just one. I don't reach for this is from pixie. This is a duochrome highlighter This is one of their glow and powder glowy powders and this is wednesday This is kind of a pink and it's pretty But it's just a little bit too intense for me. So if you have a deeper skin tone, you may love it It's a gorgeous texture stays on the cheeks really well builds up beautifully So you might really like that but this one i'm just going to pass on to somebody that can get more use out of it Oh, here's another Another one of those blushes from elf that i'm getting rid of from wet n wild these are my favorite highlighters at the drugstore these are these the two reflect highlighter palettes and this one is boozy brunch the only reason i'm getting rid of boozy brunch is because it's bright gold that's the only reason otherwise i would love this it's just one of those i don't have any more spots for any sort of these it's just one of those that even though it's a beautiful highlight if you love golden highlights if you love the color on your skin that has a little bit more warmth if you're somebody that has warmer toned skin you're gonna love this mine is in i'll have a cosmo love it you can get those on the website at Ulta. Yes, Ulta. Okay, this one came in a duo. This is from ColourPop. I just, am, I don't care for these colors, although I love these stick blushes from them. They really blend out really well, and they're really beautiful, but both of these colors are just pull a little bit too warm for me. And the highlighter, it's like almost an like an orangey highlighter, tangerine highlighter. Not coming across really well there on the camera, but 
those are two that I have to get rid of, but that formula is really good. It's just not a color that I love. I hope somebody else will love it. Charlotte Tilbury, don't kill the messenger again. Yeah. So this is one of her highlighters. Look at the gold. It's pretty, but it's super duper gold and I'll never wear it. I'm going to pass that on while it's still good to one of my friends. But yeah, that's a gold color. I'm going to make sure these flick up on the screen for the colors as we're going through them. This is a Lorac blush that I loved for so long and I barely made a dent in it, used it all the time, but then they went and they discontinued it. I wish that they would bring these domed blushes back that I believe are their baked blushes because they're so pretty and that color is so soft and it's just the beautiful melding of pink and peach. It's gorgeous. Uh, this one is Velvet, Velvet Rope. So pretty. I wish that they would bring those back. But while they don't, I've got to get rid of it. A very peach highlighter from Laura Geller. I love these. These are the baked gelato swirls, and I'm pretty sure she is discontinuing these. And this one is in peach glow. It's just too orange for me, and so I'm going to be getting rid of it. This is a beautiful reflective highlight from NYX. This is their contour palette. This is the light, light medium one or just the light one? light one and this is uh, maybe i got an old one i don't know but there it's like stuck in there there's hardly anything going to come off on my finger i that's really dried out it has to go in the garbage this is one of those i think it was the light chaser blush from becca i'm not sure beautiful blush again you guys can't get it so i'm going to pass it on to somebody that will use it a lot little bit powdery as you can see right there but man oh man look at the glow in that and look at how pigmented that is beautiful blush but i don't wear it this again is those makeup drops or those highlighting drops that i just showed you from cover fx i don't reach for these they're too much on my skin so i'm gonna just pass those on to somebody that's younger and maybe can use them not that people that are older can't use them i'm not saying that i'm just saying that for me to put them on my skin it shows up too much texture and i just haven't felt comfortable with them but i do love these ColourPop super shock highlighters this one is called stole the show and i'm not going to open it but the only reason i'm getting rid of this is because i i ordered a duplicate i'm going to pass this on to my sister she'll love this um but yeah it's one that i like but, but i don't need two of them right this one is from flower beauty this one i love this is called their day glow this is the highlighting glaze and it is gorgeous and this one is stunner i think yes it's pretty it's really pretty and it does give you that glass like finish because it's a cream product it's going to just show glass across your skin no highlighter no really changing of the color it's just going to show that glass but as i worked with it 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 just doesn't sink down into my skin or meld with my other makeup so it's just like i had a little bit of a lip gloss across my cheeks that just kind of wear, wore off during the day and took my blush with it not real crazy about that and then this one from uh koki cosmetics this is a gorgeous highlight as well there's a lot of highlights in here but again this was not a good color for me um it turned out to be a little bit too peachy even though it might not look like that on camera it just pulled so peachy on my skin and made my blush look darker and so i'm gonna get rid of that one i have three products from the balm this is the mary luminizer which i'd heard so much about it this isn't very much of a highlighter to me at all. This is Take Home the Bronze. I'd heard a bunch about this. This is way too orange for me. I can't wear that one. And this is Hot Mama. This is a blush. And again, that one's way too orange. So I can't wear any of those. I'm going to pass those along. Wet n Wild, this blush from them, from their color icon. Again, this was not a good color for me. Um, just much too orange and that color. Whoops, there went the little, there went the little brush on the floor. And this one is called rose champagne and i don't feel like it's rose i feel like it's much more champagne and much more orange on there this is a blush so, that i got from max factor and i didn't even know max factor was sold on amazon anymore because i used to love it but this one is much 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 too light for me it's just hardly any color to it and i do not have one place left to put any more on there it looks pretty right there but as you buff it out just even a little bit there's hardly any color to it you're not going to be able to build it up it's gone within a couple hours. That one's going. Last year, I got these blush trios like I showed you in a video earlier this year 
from Tarte. I still love these, but they have not got any love since around the holiday season. So I'm going to pass them on to somebody that can love them. I love that they are doing these. I think they're great. But for me, if I'm not going to be able to show them to you guys all throughout the year and show you that you can still get them, I don't want to show it on camera because then you're just bummed out that you can't get something that I'm showing. This is another one from Becca that was those sunlight ones. Now this one I wasn't going to get rid of because I love every single highlighter Becca's ever put out. But this this one, honestly, I just stuck my finger in and I'm like, this texture is different. It's not as creamy and buttery as her normal highlighters. And when it goes on, it goes on very much like a powder instead of melting into the skin and just making things look seamless. This one is from Believe Beauty and you can see that that's broke right there. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It broke just like right after I bought it. So not happy that that broke. This one is the Sweet Cheeks. You know what? This may have been in a declutter last year and I pulled it out and thought I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow. I can't use it as an eyeshadow because it's much too dark. It's pretty, but it definitely is not a blush that I can use. You so may love this if you're a darker skin gal. This one is in Fig. It's pretty. It's really pretty, but it's not a color that I can wear. And I keep glancing over there because Ollie's over there just raking havoc. It's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. If you're a darker skin, medium to darker skin gal, check this out. It's beautiful, but I can't wear it. So it's going to go on to one of my friends that has a darker skin tone. This is from C Color Cosmetics, and this is their natural face palette that they were trying to dupe the Too Faced. And they have a face palette that has everything just like this in there. These were not the quality that Too Faced has in their original ones. It was okay, but it wasn't great. It does have a mirror, um, but this is not one that I would recommend because it just wasn't the quality wasn't there. This one is from Koki Cosmetics, and this is their contour palette. This was okay. Again, they're trying to dupe Kat Von D in that original palette that she had, but the quality is not quite there. And these three colors were so similar when I got them on. There wasn't a differentiation between, you know, yes, I can use that one as a bronzer. Yes, I can use that one as a contour and kind of the same thing up here. There was this one banana powder, but when you get them on, they all kind of look the same. So kind of defeating the purpose of having a whole entire palette of different colors if the colors just look up look like they're the same after you get them on that was it that was the last one and i have no idea how many are here i'm going to count these all right final tally is 51 cheek products gone 51 cheek products that's pretty good just things that i don't reach for even though i may like them very much they either don't work for me for one reason or another, and there's no reason for me to keep them. So I'm excited to get rid of these. Now, the ones that I feel like are worth the money, like this trio set from Tarte, I'm going to be putting some of these for sale. And I'll let you guys know as I get closer to doing that, because there are ones that are from Cover FX. This is a brand new bottle. I think I've opened it twice and tried it out. So there's a lot of products in here that I feel like are still really good. I'll make sure that I sanitize them. And yes, I will make sure that I sell some of them. Them, but my family gets the first pick off of these. So I'll let you know when I go ahead and I put that up. I hope that you did enjoy this declutter video. I am going to be doing eyes and I'm going to be doing lips. So we'll get rid of a bunch out of there as well. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing my declutter and if declutters are something that you like. I really appreciate that very much. Thanks again. I love you and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye friends.